Today, I'm gonna teach you how I play Jet after the recent nerfs. Last player standing. Spike down A. One enemy remaining. Woo! He's close too, Sage. Wow. Holy. As you may or may not know, Jet's dash went from an instantaneous dash to a dash where you have to activate it and then dash within this time frame. Same rules apply, you get a dash after two kills. Her knives no longer do 50 to any part of the body. So, so the only thing to keep in mind when using her knives is not to aim at the legs, but you can still aim at the head and the body. And instead of just talking about how to use Jet and praying to God that you're able to apply it in your own game, I've decided to gather some clips of my own and break down the thought process I have during each and every situation. And I'm teaching how to do that in this exact video. Please subscribe and also all of these clips are hit on my Twitch channel. So let's dive into how I entry as Jet. If you're able to win pistol round, you basically guarantee the first two to three rounds of the game. So what I do even before I make first contact is I look at what agents my team has decided to pick and I look at what agents their team has decided to pick. They have a couple of things to delay my push. I opt for half armor and updraft and a smoke. Oh, no boy, yeah. uh, for, I can burn there. Uh, uh, keep it out. Let's rewind. Let's let's really really talk about what we just saw. Why do I updraft here? First and foremost, I don't see a Viper orb to my bottom left, and that basically means Viper is playing on A. If Viper is playing on A, that means Chamber is playing on B. I say that because they're both like the Sentinels, and Sentinels don't play on the same site on pistol round. Therefore, there's going to be a tripwire to my close right. Instead of dashing normally and activating that tripwire, I can updraft dash, avoid the tripwire, and then clear sight for my team while they take care of the tripwire and how will they know the tripwire is there because i dashed right past it right here my breach c blasted the dices box i can go onto it for free and while i dash through i heard my breach flash meaning it's my job to clear sight I have three people towards short and then I have two people towards showers with me. So what do I do here? I decide to wide swing. They don't have an op up. If I wide swing and get to this point of engagement before the enemy team, that means I won't have to clear unnecessary angles. What do I mean by that? So if I wide swing right away, I just need to worry about this first choke point, which boom, boom, boom. I wide swung, I beat the jet there and I probably get this kill deleted. And look at that. And I'm just running forward. There's no way he could be to my right. And I just go through. I see this raise. My fade reveals him. I spam him. He's dead. And I don't even need to use my dash here. I kind of get greedy and I decide to keep going forward. Kind of just gauge what type of player you want to be. Are you the type of player to get four kills and pray to God that your team win the round? Or are you the type of player to get those two entry kills and then play back and secure the round for your team? I have nothing to lose. I already got two kills. I already have positioning. I might as well do it. Yeah. This is a round where I kind of use my knives to help get me some leverage and help create space for my team. It's kind of hard to just throw a smoke and dash in on a map like Pearl. As you can see here, I decide to activate my dash when I see there's a lot of clutter. You see this Phoenix wall coming out. You see this Phoenix flash coming out. You saw that Molly to my left that just happened. I'm about to go into the battlefield. I'm about to go to war. I'm like updrafting. I, I get bitten. I don't know what's going on. But it seems like I haven't died yet. So I still have my dash activated. I still have this window where I can use my dash and get out for free. Don't respect these enemies that I don't watch these sword dust guides. You're better than them. You're, you're, you're stronger than them. You're faster than them. Now I'm going to teach you how to retake as Jet. Retaking as Jet is probably the hardest thing for Jet players to do. Jet players like running in and going in first. So they don't have the patience it takes in order to retake a site by themselves or with their teammates. Retakes are all about gauging the enemy's positioning and being able to use your utility and movement to bait out and isolate fights. It's a little bit more complicated than entering. So pay attention to these clips. I'm in a 1v3 situation where the CT is smoked. I activated my dash a little early and I have to reclaim the entire site by myself. Because the bomb is planted and all my teammates are dead, chances are that they're going to be playing in forward positions. Forward positions meaning they're going to be closer towards my side rather than in their spawn and playing post plant. To leverage any advantage I can get, rather than just dashing out the window, it's better to drop, look for a gunfight, and then reposition with your dash. In this next engagement, I decide to take a fight on default. After struggling against the cypher, I end up getting omen flashed and instead of just sitting there and doing nothing, 
nothing. I throw smokes to give me some cover. I know Omen is behind me because he flashed from CT, meaning that short is free and safe to retreat to. I decide to do a super wide swing and catch him with his pants down. I know that the Cypher is holding me, so instead of taking a fight that's poorly in my favor, I decide to reposition again with my dash and play some mind games against the Cypher to win this 1v3 clutch. Guy who cleans up the whole game. Oh, 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 Is that cyber okay? <laughs> in this clip, my entire team decided to die while I was flanking. This happens a lot when you're flanking as Jet. And what I like to do when I flank, I like to make as much noise as I can to bait out people into swinging into me. I go wide and have my crosshair ready to take any fights that I can. So rather than walking up and flanking them slowly and having time be against my side, I decide to use the timer in my favor and create panic to the attackers playing postplant. In doing so, I was able to get these two free kills on Nest. All of a sudden, this 4v1 became a 2v1. The last two attackers are probably freaking out. So what I do instead of looking for another fight, I smoke the bomb and I dash onto it. I fake, I swing to the left, kill the Reyna. By nature of enemies positioning, I have a feeling that the raise is going to be back sight. I don't know exactly where, but because I have my knives up, I'm able to react and right click the last person if needed. Dusk. What happens, Dusk, if I lose pistol round, the most important round of the game? All you need to do is buy a marshal. Bro, you're a menace. <laughs> Forcing a marshal on second round isn't a bad idea. Not only could you win the round best case scenario, but worst case scenario, you can still buy with your team on the third round. It's broken. If you're good with it, you can hurt the enemy's economy. And Jet is the only agent that can do this without any repercussions. Playing postplant is all about using your utility to delay the defenders and retaking the site. Basically, you want to stall until the bomb explodes. Instead of helping my teammates, I kind of bait the fade because the fade is in really bad positioning. But I know as long as the bomb gets planted, I'll be able to win the round. I throw a couple of smokes to delay the U-Haul push. Inevitably, the raise ends up taking through U-Haul while clearing it slowly and kills the fade. The moment the race pops the ult, I decide to double updraft. I double updraft here because if I stay in the corner, I'm going to die. In 1v1 situations, especially in a post plant, I think it's really good to pop your knives. And having your knives gives you full mobility when jumping around. As you can see, I use my knives and I'm able to get the Sage off the bomb while I'm in her slow. If I had my Vandal out instead of my knives here, I probably wouldn't have won the round. As for defending a bomb site, you want to activate your dash when you plan on peeking into the enemies. You decide when to peek into the enemies when you understand when they're out in the open and exposed to a bunch of angles. Basically, you want to peek into the enemies when they have their pants down and when they're rushing a site. You peek, you get a kill, and then you dash away. Okay, you're so fucked. Oh my god. Thanks for watching, and Riot, please stop nerfing Jet.